what's up everybody so uh, this isn't a review for the phone yet but this is actually a tutorial if you have the uh, Huawei or Huawei whatever you want to call it union phone uh, it's this one right here uh, let me turn the screen off so you can actually see it better so it's uh, this one right here there's the back of it so if you have this phone, um, I believe this is a Boost mobile phone. Uh, this was like twenty bucks. Twenty, actually, it was under twenty bucks. Nineteen bucks, I believe it was. And if you have this phone, um, this is going to be the easiest fucking tutorial on how to root this phone. I was impressed. Um, this program has never worked for me. That's a disclaimer. This program has never worked for me but it actually has worked for this phone so what you're gonna need is a USB cable to your computer so I got one right here so just plug your phone in well actually first thing you want to do is go into your menu and uh, go into your settings so when you're in your settings what you want to do is you want to scroll all the way to the bottom and you want to go to about phone and the second thing on about phone is build number. Uh, let's see if I can get my webcam to focus on that. There we go. Build number. What you want to do, it's going to tell, it's uh, actually, I didn't root this yet. So what you want to do is you want to tap that multiple times. Let me see if I can do it. And after you tap it a few times, it should tell you. No needed. I'm already a developer. I already accessed it. But you click it a bunch of times and it'll say you are now a developer so next thing you want to do when you uh, hit the back button and you'll see developer options so you want to click that and scroll down till it says debug uh, debugging and I'll try to show you right there USB debugging you want to select that to have that on and hit okay and now that's all done now next thing you want to do is you want to plug your phone into your computer alright it's plugged in so now you can just set your phone down for now and no go fuck yourself alright so next thing you want to do I don't think I have an icon for it um, I'm gonna to go to the website first uh, new window I have a bunch of windows open um, so it might take me a while to type it in but all you want to do is go to Kingo root that's all you got to do is type that in and uh, your computer will be much faster than mine I have a bunch of windows open on the other screen so it's gonna take a little bit so Kingo app dot com so you click that and you want to download for windows so you're going to click that, give it a few seconds, and it automatically, I already have it, so I don't need it. So I'm just going to hit this card, but download that, install it. All right. So I'm just going to go in here and type in Kingo. So when you have the desktop app, all you have to do is open the app. Please enable USB debugging. That's already done. Now it's going to pop up on your phone. You got to click always allow and OK. You'll see that little checkbox. Check that and then hit OK. All right. Set the phone back down. And basically you just sit back and wait um, I have noticed it does give me some issues this program isn't perfect uh, I'm gonna exit it out and I'm gonna start it back up uh, I have noticed every once in a while it does be a pain in the ass alright now it already has the model 
click root and it's going to go through its whole procedure this is the easiest phone to root um, other than my old Galaxy S4 where I was able to install an app and just root it from that but other than that this is ridiculously easy as you can see it's downloading everything right now for you and it gives you a nice little percentage sign it's a free program by the way it doesn't cost anything um, so yeah I didn't have to enter any information at all I just installed it and that's it and son of a bitch it's making me look like an asshole I just rooted my other one because I have the same exact phone What the hell is the issue? We'll try it again. Maybe I have something in the settings that's not right. And I think I know what it is. I gotta find the security. I think I have. I, I think I have an idea what's going on here. All right, let's try it again. So you want to know it? And yes, you know, it's not that long, it's not that long. Um, not that long, it's not that long, it's not that long. Now, as far as it's not working, it's not working They claim it's from the 2 and the 1. It doesn't work for the 3, 4, or 5. Um, I don't think it works for the S4, it might not work for the S4, 5, or 6. Um, if you go to my site, they have a uh, preview list of those that do support moving. Um, this phone is not on that list. But I said, anyway, it worked my way. Now you can donate to them if you want. So basically, it's saying that the root is successful. So now, just to make sure the root's successful, what we want to do is I don't believe there is any kind of super user on this. It rooted the phone, but it did not put a super user on it. So what you want to do is you want to go to the Play Store, and uh, in the search bar, type in uh, what I prefer to use is Super SU. That's S-U-P-E-R-S-U. -S -S Install that. Hit accept. And that's going to install. Okay, so as you can see, I installed Super SU. I'm going to click it. The SU binary needs to be updated. Continue, you want to continue. So just hit continue. And uh, you have two options. If you have a custom recovery like TWRP or CWM, that can be used to try to install the SU binary. This is recommended for HTC devices. How many, or uh, how would you like to install the SU binary? Now I'm going to click normal, because that's all I'm going to need. So basically just click normal. Installing. If you see this message more than five minutes, please re reboot and try again. So as you can see, it's installing right now for the binaries. And if your phone is not rooted, it will not go to this point. So, as you can see, it's doing that right now. And installation success. It is now recommended to reboot your device. I'm just going to click OK. And uh, 
so now the next thing I'm going to do is go back to the Play Store and install a root checker just to show you guys it is rooted so uh, we're going to go to the top one root checker install accept and uh, that top one is the one that I'm installing and it should be done installing in a moment installed so I'm gonna go back to the home screen it's gonna automatically go there so just just so you guys know that that's how easy this is root checker and I gotta turn the phone because I have no idea what that's saying this app will not install root um, basically you just have to agree to their terms and service Hit agree. Welcome, blah, blah, blah. I gotta hit okay. Eh. Okay, it's saying ads, there we go. Verify root. Where's my finger, there it is. I wanna grant. Congratulations, root access is properly installed on this device. That's all you need to do to root it. Now, this has been a long video, but that's because I messed up. I had my Note 3, my old Note 3, plugged into the computer while I had this. If you're going to root this phone, have this as the only phone or tablet you're plugging into the computer. Um, and when you do that, you have to enable USB debugging and go into security and uh, allow unknown sources. Uh, that's for installing stuff f that is not from the Play Store. Those are the two settings you have to change and just plug it in, run the program and let it do it and done deal. So that's how simple it is. Um, yeah, I messed up in this video because I had my other phone plugged in, but what are you gonna do? That's all it is, super easy to root this phone um, the reviews for the phones are going to be coming soon. And yeah, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or anything like that, make sure to shoot me a question, comment, concern down in the comment section. And uh, make sure to subscribe. More content coming. Until next time, have a good one.